What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and I am incredibly excited because I've been waiting six months for this RV to come in. I knew about this Raptor 420 at least six months ago, maybe eight months ago, and this is my first time actually getting my hands on one. This toy hauler has a front bath and is really insane for a toy hauler, the layout that they were able to put together on this. Something that was so needed, giving people a bigger bathroom in a toy hauler. So I am so excited to walk through this thing with you. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, Keep in mind, I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV. And let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So this is the 2023 Keystone Raptor 420. Finally got a 2023 on the lot. I'm really excited because I actually have a couple different 2023s that have came in. We also have a Passport 3401 QD and a Renegade Verona that are 2023s that I'll be getting videos out real soon on. But this one is the one I was most excited about because this is a front bath toy hauler that I have been waiting so long to get in stock. This thing is really, really unique in the toy hauler space, having your bathroom all up front here, giving you a much larger bathroom than you're used to in a toy hauler. And then something really unique Keystone is doing for 2023s, they are now coming with two Dragonfly lithium batteries. So these are 100 amp hour batteries, and these are two lithium batteries here. These are about $1,000 to $1,200 a piece, somewhere right in that range there. Forgive me, I haven't done a extensive amount of research on the Dragonfly lithium battery, so I don't know the exact price of them, but these are coming on every Keystone RV from what I understand so far. I know I went and looked at the 2023 Passport 3401 QD, which is just a travel trailer, and that travel trailer has two Dragonfly batteries on it as well. So that is really awesome, definitely giving you more value at your cost here for what you're looking at with Keystone RVs, giving you now two lithium batteries there, so really excited about that. And then this here is another thing I'm really excited about where this is the biggest storage compartment I have seen on a Raptor toy hauler. First of all, this has the 400 watt solar system on here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my gosh, I almost swallowed a bug there, it felt like. But you have the inverter here and then you can also get another inverter installed here as well if you wanted to expand upon the inverter capabilities on this RV expand upon the solar system. But this already comes with a 400 watt solar system on it. So you have two 200 watt panels up on the roof, one on this side here and one on the other side. And that is going to not only keep your lithium batteries up here charged, that's gonna make sure that those never die on you so everything that runs off the battery stays running, but it's also going to allow you to run several of the outlets inside the RV off of that 12 volt power as well. So then if you wanted to expand upon the solar system, add more solar, add more batteries, um, add another inverter and start getting more power to different components in the RV, you can do that. However, on this toy hauler, you typically don't need to because I sure hope this is all unlocked. Okay, perfect. You have a 5,500 watt Onan generator here. So you'll have that 5,500 watt Onan generator. That's going to be a gas generator because you will have the fuel supply on this RV. Um, we'll look at that in a minute. You have the solid slam latch doors there, so those will slam shut. Your docking lights are right here, so I just flipped those on, and you can see you have the blue LED lights right there, as well as the Road Armor pin box here. So this is going to be your Road Armor pin box that has that rubber bushing that is going to absorb a lot of that chucking as you go up and down the road as this pivots back and forth as you brake and accelerate, that will absorb a lot of that shock. And then you also have the um, hitch vision plate here to kind of help see your hitch lining up, or your, um, yeah, your fifth wheel hitch in the bed of the truck lining up with this here as you're backing your truck up. But it is a really small little, um, hitch vision plate there, so I don't know that that's super practical on this Raptor model, but they put it there anyways. And you have these puck lights here shining down into what would be the bed of your truck, so you can see what you're setting up if you're doing it in darker conditions. 
Really nice looking front cap. This is a 2023 model. So, so far with this being the very first 2023 fifth wheel that I've gotten in general, let alone a Raptor fifth wheel, don't see any changes on the outside other than the batteries right now. So all the decals look the same. Everything pretty much looks the same as the 2022s. Come under here. This is gonna be your two 30 pound propane bottles underneath there. That's where those will be stored at. And come around to this side, you're gonna have, I believe this will be all your hydraulic fluid. Yep, all your hydraulic fluid there for your um, hydraulic level leveling system, as well as uh, some of your, actually no, just your hydraulic leveling system on this RV. And as we move around this way, I don't know who keeps honking their horn over there, but got someone honking their horn. I wanna show you the storage compartment from this side as well. Oh, this is another change, look at this. They added a TV mount here. So you can actually, you have a TV mount already installed. This is a great example because a lot of fifth wheels have this capability to put a TV mount there like that. So you can get a small TV that you would mount on there. It's just mounted to the sidewall here. And like I said, a lot of fifth wheels have the capability to do this. Um, this one just comes with that already installed. So I love that. Looks like you have your plugs for the TV right there. So they would just have to kind of be ran up there to get to there. You can easily just mount them to the top of this to keep them out of the way. You have a 30 amp solar charge controller. So that's the bigger 30 amp solar charge controller that comes with the 400 watt solar system. And it looks like they actually have a solar panel disconnect. So that looks like if you wanted to just kill the power coming from the solar panels, you can do that right there now. So that's pretty unique as well. I wonder if I turn that on, I'm guessing on means that the power is running from the solar panel. So we'll leave that on now to make sure everything stays running while we're making the video, but that's new. So I'll have to do a little bit of research on that because that is definitely something that was not on the 2022s. See, it also comes with a 25 foot coil hose there. And then you have your hose for the central vac system as well. But this is for an outside shower um, hose or a, you know, kind of like a gardening hose connection on that. Um, all your way, um, <laughs> well, <laughs> my voice just almost cracked, but all your welding on your Raptor is going to be welded on both sides of the frame. So kind of hard to show there, but welds on both sides of all your aluminum frame connections underneath here. And that's pretty much it for under this compartment. Oh, and you have your in-command system. So behind this panel is all of your color coordinated wiring connections with a legend for where every wire is going. So that's gonna make troubleshooting any electrical issues for you or a technician a lot faster, either saving you time or saving you money. Solid slam latch door there as well. You have a 17 foot awning back here and I believe an 18 foot awning here. So absolutely huge awning coverage space all throughout your campsite. And then you have your JBL speakers. Now, one thing that's a little different, this has the Moride CRE 3000 suspension. I think these had the uh, Road Armor suspension last year. So looks like you got the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system on this uh, Raptor. And then you have the really nice looking black wheels on here. And we'll look at the rating on those Saloon tires when we get to the other side of the RV. Um, but this has uh, your two awnings, second entrance into the garage. As you come back to your patio setup here, you have a 13 foot garage in there. Then you have your patio set up. Very, very easy to put these gates um, up, or not up and down, because they don't go up and down. But the gates, they fold in. And I got this patio set up in about 60 seconds or less. I think it took me maybe 45 seconds to get this patio set up. So very easy. You have your legs underneath here. So these will make contact with the ground. It does come with those. So you can pivot those down. That way you can let these cables go so they're not in the way. You also have a step that can go right here to get up onto the patio. Let those cables go. That will allow it to go down into the ramp position to load cargo up into the garage. The garage will have a 3000 pound capacity and the ramp when in the ramp position will have a 3000 pound capacity. And then when you have the ramp in the patio position here, it'll have a 1500 pound capacity. All Raptor toy haulers also come with a backup camera installed from the factory. So you have the backup camera installed with the monitor inside that will go on your dashboard. And you have an awning that comes over the patio as well. Coming back to this side, you will have your 60 gallon fuel supply. Now this very well may be locked because this thing just got here. And yep, I was not willing to be patient enough to wait and I don't have my keys with me, unfortunately. But you have a 30 gallon fuel tank here and a 30 gallon fuel tank here for 60 gallons in total. One is gonna be for your generator. One will be for your fuel pump that will be for toys. So you'll actually have a gas pump in here so that you can fill up your toys while you're out camping. 
Looking at this side of the RV, you have your ladder to get up onto the roof. So we'll go up there in just a second. And it looks like you have two different dump points. So this here is going to be a black tank. This looks like this is the black tank for the half bath in the back. So you have a black um, tank dump valve there. And then on this side, this is gonna be your black and gray tanks for what looks like the bathroom up front. And actually your kitchen gray tank might come out of that one there as well. So two different dump stations though, nonetheless, where you will be dumping your water tanks. You have a sewer storage hose compartment here. It does have a tankless on-demand water heater. So you get pretty much unlimited hot water. You can see you have a gray tank valve right there as well. So your gray tank for the bathroom will also come out of this one. And then getting down underneath the RV, see it is fully enclosed underneath there. Everything is wrapped and insulated and your water tanks and water lines sit above the insulation in that wrapped underbelly compartment. So whenever your furnace is running, that is going to keep your water tanks and water lines from freezing. You also have your spare tire underneath there and you will have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. So if you are transporting in close to freezing or below freezing temperatures, those 12 volt heat pads will make sure that you don't have to turn on your furnace while you're going down the road to keep them from freezing if you have water in your tanks. And that is just about everything on the outside. Let's just get up on the roof real quick. Um, there are also, I wanna point out, just for nighttime, there are little blue LED lights underneath here that will illuminate this whole leg underneath here when you are um, setting up or at your campsite at night. So just a nice little aesthetic feature that's on there. But let's go get up on the roof real quick. And then you have three lower profile Coleman Mach Q series ACs. So these are the lower profile ones. Um, I had the specs at the beginning of the video. I don't remember right now as of me filming what the exact height of this RV is, but this is the lower profile ACs. And then you have your two 200 watt solar panels. But these are all gonna be 15,000 BTU ACs that you have here. And then you have some of your attic vents and you have another solar panel plug here. So if you wanted to plug in more solar on this roof, it is already wired for that. I'm pretty certain that's what it is because that looks like the same plug right there. So, yep, it is already pre-wired to expand upon the solar system there if you wanted to add more solar panels. And I deeply apologize about my footprints up on this pretty white roof. I will definitely make sure those get cleaned off for whoever decides to purchase this RV. So that is your roof up here. And real quick before we head inside, I do just wanna clarify something because I was looking on Raptor's website and it looks like these Dragonfly batteries, these are a option that you can add on. As a dealership, we have the choice to add on this as an option. It's not a standard feature that will come on a Raptor or any Keystone RV, but I believe my dealership has, uh, is going to be ordering all of our RVs with the option of having the Dragonfly lithium battery or they'll probably be ordering most of them with that. I don't know that is yet to be seen. All I know is I've got the two Keystone RVs in now that are a 2023 that has the Dragonfly batteries on them and both in drastically different size and price ranges. So that makes me think that we're gonna be ordering all of them with that Dragonfly battery on there. I also wanna point out real quick, you can pull these pins out where the ladder is and push that up against the sidewall to make that flush against the sidewall so it's not sticking out and you don't have to worry about that catching anything while you're driving down the road. And that is pretty much it. Let's uh, go back around here and head inside. You also have the LED light strips on the awning. So those will shine down into this space, illuminate your whole area here at night under your RV. And you do have an additional LED light there to increase the amount of light that you have outside as well. Frameless windows outside. So they look really clean on this RV. And that is just about everything. As we open the door, you're gonna open this up. You do have a strut assisted step. So this will stay up on its own. It's not going to fall and hit you or anything like that as you're picking that up or taking that down. It will stay up on its own. And then it has the nice mechanism here where you don't have to pull any pins to adjust these legs here. You just push this in and that will allow this to move freely. It also will just slide down without you having to push it. So that's pretty nice. But then to get it to go back down, you do have to push this in, which I shouldn't have done because now I got to use two hands to get it back down. So just get that. There you go. Okay. Probably just edit that out there. Cool. So got that back down and got that sitting level. That is going to be a solid step there. This one will not be a solid step. The reason that they don't do a solid step on this door here is in the event that you were parked too closely to a wall or another RV or anything like that, 
If you're really, really close, this step swings out and it won't have enough room to swing out all the way and make contact with the ground. So you can still always get in through this door because these just store up underneath here. So no matter how close you park to something, you can always get into that door even if you can't get these steps down. So that's why they give you that different step option there. You do have the screen door here. And as we walk inside, wow. Okay, so I walked through this very briefly prior to just now stepping in it. So this is almost like my first impression. I got to see it before filming, but still pretty close to a first impression. And this feels like a little bit smaller space in here, but this is very comparable to like a Raptor 429. If you were to take the Raptor 429, which has a U-shaped kitchen right here, and just give it an island kitchen instead, very similar setup with the four cushions there with the TV here. I do like that like this is on the third cushion down. So you can see I got two cushions there, third cushion there. I'm barely tilting my head to look at that TV. I don't feel like I'm tilting my head very far. And I know this TV will come out and swivel. So you will have a swivel mount back there where you can move this TV around. And then you have the nice LED light up here as well to give it a nice backlight um, look that makes it look more aesthetically pleasing. You have the fireplace here that will put out heat. So this is an electric heat source that will allow you to get heat from something other than your furnace. And then you're going to have the three ACs on here, the Coleman Mach uh, Q-Series ACs. So these are a very quiet AC system. Ducted all the way through the RV, except for your third one in the garage, that is going to be independent. So these two will be ducted together here and in the bedroom. And then your third one in the garage will be independent. That way you don't have any of the fumes coming from the garage if you have anything with gasoline back there cross-contaminating with your living space. Now we're gonna come back to this living area, but I really wanna go up into the bedroom and bathroom because that is really what stands out in this RV and what really makes this thing unique. Forgive me as it's 102 degrees outside right now and I'm absolutely dying. So I have to wipe my face every now and then to uh, get all the sweat off my face. But as we go up, you can see you have your step right here very close to the entry door so nice and easy to get up in there and as we go up here we'll go through a couple other things real quick because you do have the touchscreen control panel here that will control everything on your rv so this is going to link to your phone as well so everything that this panel does here you can do from your phone including things like start your generator control your awnings program when you want your acs to come on you can see it's 103 degrees in here right now absolutely cooking but that's okay, I was so excited to make this video. I literally could not wait to plug it in or move it or anything. It just got here like less than an hour ago and I was like, I need to film this thing right now because I was so excited. But this is really nice. You have the power for your inverter right here and then your um, power for your tankless on-demand water heater. Now, as you go into the bedroom, this is very, very interesting. You have your TV in the corner there with storage above and below it. You have a king size bed, very interesting looking headboards. Wow, that is very different than anything I've ever seen before. Really curious what your thoughts are on that headboard there. Those are actually hanging from the bar. These look like they're like freestanding headboards. Yeah, they actually move. That is very, very interesting. Um, definitely curious what your thoughts are on a headboard like that. Um, I think on film it looks really, really nice, but it definitely looks not like anything I was expecting to see. So that is a change for 2023 for sure. And then you have all of this storage here. I mean, amazing how much storage space they are fitting in a toy hauler. This is so unprecedented for a toy hauler model to have this level of storage. I really hope unprecedented was the right word there. Of course you have soft closed cabinets as you would expect on a Raptor toy hauler. All this shelf space, you can see you have the inverted outlet there with the 400 watt solar system. We'll be getting power to those inverted outlets. Have more storage down underneath here. And then the same identical storage is here on that side as well. You have USB ports on the side of the bed. You have another USB port here as well. And a nice little side table stand there with some shelving. You have the inverted outlet here on this wall. And then lift this up and you will have the storage under the bed with the table that can be used in the garage or the living area there. So you will have that framed out storage underneath here. And again, this is a king bed. And I just got sweat just dripping down my face. So forgive me as I 
continue to wipe my face off. Okay, so coming back behind this area, you have blackout curtain on your window so you can black out that whole space there. But can we just take a second to appreciate how huge this window is? That is a giant bedroom window. Gonna let a ton of natural light in here. Plus it is under the awning. So if it was like raining or something like that and you still wanted to leave this window open, even with the frameless windows, you can leave this open because they open up this way. So I'll actually show you how this works. They just push open like that right there. So not a whole lot of moisture can get in here, but you're also under the awning. So if you leave your awning out and it's not too windy, definitely can leave this open in any weather conditions, except for maybe extreme wind where you have to close the awning. You have your TV here, but look at all the shelf space behind the TV. So it's actually, you know, let's take this off, put that back behind there and pull this out. Oh yeah. Shelving space behind there. You can move the TV around however you best see fit. So you can get a nice view of the TV from your bed. And then you have the storage above it and below it. I mean, this is killing the amount of storage I've seen in just about any bedroom in a toy hauler. Um, I don't know that I've ever seen this much storage, definitely not in a Raptor toy hauler in the bedroom, but really I can't think of any toy hauler with this much storage in the bedroom, especially when you add in the closet here in the front bath, where when we come up here, I mean, first of all, you have your countertop here with all the storage there, nice white cabinetry, have your medicine cabinets. These will also be soft clothes, have a nice window there for natural lighting. Your toilet here is a porcelain toilet. Um, does it have, it has a soft clothes toilet seat as well. Absolutely love that. So that is something new I've been seeing on more and more RVs from Keystone with their Fusion and Raptor having the soft clothes toilet seat. You have two drawers here that will pull out your outlet here and outlet here. So two outlets in the kitchen or not in the kitchen, in the bathroom. Open this up, you have some storage space there and then three more drawers here that are all the same size. Then behind this door, you have your shower here. So the shower is a fiberglass one piece shower, kind of like what you would have in an apartment. You do have a seat on the shower. And when I step in here, easy ceiling height uh, space here. I don't know if easy ceiling height space is the right word, but just standing here in the bathroom, I'm 6'2 with my shoes on and you can see in the mirror here how much height I have to the ceiling. So I have probably at least about a good four inches there. So it's probably about 6'6 six, six here in the ceiling height. And then just with the small step into the shower, because you can see it already goes down a little bit. So it's almost the exact same ceiling height in the shower where it's probably about 6'3 to 6'4 to this spot right here. Then another about three to four inches in the skylight. So you have plenty of space in here if you're a taller person. And then this here sits at about the middle of my face. So I might have to lift this up to get it up over my head, but that is really the only concern. And it looks like they have an on off switch here. So you don't have to keep turning the water on and off here if you're trying to conserve water. So that's nice as well. You have your shelving in the shower and then right behind it, you have all this wardrobe space. Look at that. I mean, come on. You got it. You already had all the storage in the bedroom. You have all this additional bathroom storage here. This is unbelievable. You have all this space in the wardrobe. You have this nice shelf up here. You have the clothing rod that goes all the way across and you have three more drawers on this side. You have an outlet there. You have two more drawers here. And you have three more drawers on this side, plus countertop space. This is a bench seat here, so you can actually sit on this. This does remove, but it is a bench seat that you have there. And this is your whole wardrobe closet. So this is unbelievable. You have three lights in here too, so it's well lit. You can easily see what you're doing in there. And this is by far the best bathroom I have ever seen in any toy hauler that I have ever come across in three years. So. Big props to Keystone Raptor and their team for coming up with this model here and giving people a better sized bathroom in a toy hauler. Absolutely a huge fan of this. You can see your view coming back into the bedroom. Again, a king size bed. Really curious, sorry, wiping my face one more time. Really curious on your thoughts of this 
a bedroom and bathroom combination in this toy hauler. What do you think about it? Very curious to hear what you think. I know I'm a big fan, but I really not want to know what your thoughts are because it doesn't really matter what I think because I'm not in the market to purchase a toy hauler, but I'm curious what you people looking at toy haulers think about this layout here. This is amazing. Okay, coming back to your kitchen space. So you have the island in this kitchen, and we're gonna go through this a little bit more thoroughly now. This will open up, you have these bar stools here. These will support 300 pounds, and they just go up and down like so. You have an outlet right here, and then you're going to have your sink here. It is a stainless steel one-piece sink with the drying rack over it that perfectly fits in there. You have a nice looking black and stainless steel faucet that will spin around. Really clean looking backsplash. This is not actual tile, it's a faux tile, but it looks really good. You have an outlet here in the kitchen as well. Window there, another outlet here. So, so far that's already three outlets in the kitchen. Come around to the other side of the island and you have all your storage on this side. So they go with the bar stools on just one side of the island so you can get all this storage space underneath here. And then you get three, no, sorry, four drawers that pull out here. Got looks like some water chemicals in there. All four of these drawers will be the same size that you have there. <laughs> the storage in here just feels like it never ends. Four drawers there that are even bigger than the ones in the island and then three more on this side. Plus all the storage up above this area where this opens up, these are all soft clothes. This opens up, those are very deep in there. Soft clothes as well. And then these open up. All magnet latches for your drawers and cabinets as well, so those will hold those in place. This is the information about your Dragonfly battery. So you have this here. So you can see they all Keystone RVs can now be equipped with that. You also have the uh, My Keystone Owners app. So lots of different information that can be accessed here for Keystone RV owners. You're going to have the higher refrigerator. So this is a residential refrigerator. I've literally seen this at Lowe's a couple times and um, is a very nice size residential refrigerator. It's about 16 cubic feet. So plenty of space in there. I also think it just looks really clean with this RV. Unfortunately, I think I brushed my arm up against it to give it a little streak there. But other than that, it looks really clean in the design of this toy hauler and with the color scheme. Open this up. You have storage up above here. You have a max air ceiling fan in here. And you also had a vent fan in the bathroom as well that I didn't point out, but you do have that in there. You also have, let me just go back in here real quick so you can see, because you do have the third AC in the bedroom here and it is ducted back into the bathroom and then you have a regular vent fan here in the bedroom oh camera freaking out a little bit but a regular vent fan here in the bathroom so just wanted to point that out real fast as well as your other ac unit with the acs as well you have the blade ac vents so you know i've talked a bunch about these but these push air out in a 360 degree motion all the way around to give you significantly more air coverage and help cool down your rv faster We come back down here, finish walking through here because you do have a spice rack on this Raptor. Really nice finish on that as well. So you have a pull out spice rack. You're going to have the three burner um, stove. It's a Furion stove with the glass cover there. Another window here. A larger oven than you would get in like a standard RV. So definitely a bigger size oven. You could fit a pizza or turkey in. And then another pull out drawer there that matches the finish of the oven. You have a convection oven microwave combo. So you have that inside there. And then looking at the price on this RV, the MSRP with all the additional options on here is right at 161, 165. So that is the MSRP on this RV. That is not our actual sales price, but if you've been watching my videos, you know I am in a sales position. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours if this is something that you are interested in. We just got this thing in today, so I do not have an idea on what price it'll be available for, but I'm guessing it's probably gonna be around 130 to 140. And that's just a guess, I really do not know. But if you go down to the link down below in the description, there is a form that you can fill out that's an RV inquiry form that will come directly to me. I am at the Mesquite, Texas location, which is just outside of Dallas. So when you go fill out that form down in the description down below, 
fill out Mesquite if you want to work with me directly, or if there's another location that works better for you, you can select those locations and that will let them know that you came from seeing one of my YouTube videos. But go fill that out and that will give me your name and number so I can get in touch with you and get you all the purchasing information that you need for this RV. Or if it's more convenient for you, you can text me up at the number on the screen. But it might take me a minute to get back to you because I'm usually out filming videos or with another customer at the moment. So just be patient with me. But I will get to you as soon as I can. But if you go down to that link down below in the description, that will get me all your information so I can get you the information that you need as quickly as possible and help you out the best I can and help you make this RV yours. So whether you want to schedule a time to come take a look at it or you just need purchasing information, go fill out that information and I will get in touch with you as soon as I can and I can't wait to help you make this RV yours. But that's pretty much everything. I can't remember if I showed the storage up above here. So you have that. That's another really large space there. You also have a pantry. Now the pantry is going to be pretty shallow because you have a half bath back behind this wall. So a shallow pantry. This will probably be pretty shallow as well. Yeah, so some shallow storage space there. Again, all soft clothes, so those will close softly for you. More storage all up above. This is all unobstructed all the way through there above the TV. 50 inch screen TV. You're going to have your speaker systems right here as well. And then going back, to the, oh, actually, you know what? We got to look at real quick, your recliners, because all four of these recline. So when you pull this up, you got to see how far back they recline. That's always important. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Pretty much all the way flat, pretty dang close. So all four of your recliners will recline back really far. One thing really nice about the toy haulers is your slide outs go almost all the way to the ceiling there. So a huge slide out is going to give you massive windows here. And of course, you're going to have the pull down blackout shades on all your windows here as well. So it can block that light out when you need to and have so much of it coming in when you want it. So love that. You also have a glass door here with a sound barrier on it. So you can see the really thick gaskets along the perimeter here. This is going to block out a ton of sound. When you close that door, if you have kids that are staying back there or any company going to really dim out the noise coming from back there to really make them feel like they're in their own space and you're in your own space here. So I love that. You have your loft up above, you have an outlet up there, your AC vent, and that is another sleeping space or just a good dry storage space. And then coming back to the garage, this is a 13 foot garage. And with any Keystone toy hauler, you have welded to the frame tie downs. So these tie downs here are welded to the frame, have a 5,000 pound force capacity that they can handle there. And this is a big deal because if you look at the um, pictures on the screen here, you can see a toy hauler that had screwed down to the frame tie downs. And these two Harleys, I saw this on a Facebook page, these two Harleys fell on top of each other while they were transporting because that tie down pulled out of the ground, which is something that is never going to happen with these here because these are welded to the frame. So much stronger tie down that you have there than a lot of other toy haulers that don't do a welded to the frame tie down. You're going to have these nice black covers on the windows. So you open these up, you will have your big windows here, but these will completely black out that light when you don't want it. And a lot of people have been using these as like a bunk room type of setup. So if that's something that you want to do, you do have a rug here that you can roll out to make this feel much more residential and much less like a garage that it will come with. You also have your ladder down underneath here to get up to the loft in that area up above, as well as up onto this bunk up here. And it may actually have another ladder up above that bunk there, but I can't, I haven't got that down to check and confirm that. You have JBL speakers in here. So JBL speaker there and there. And then you have your third AC in here that is gonna be independent from the other two AC systems so that you don't cross contaminate the air if you do have toys back here with gasoline or anything like that. You have your big TV there. That's about a 42 inch screen TV that you get up here that will rotate down. So it'll swivel down and sit right about here so you can actually see it from out on the patio. And we'll come out on the patio real quick. So you can see your patio set up. You will have the awning that will come out over here as well as some lights up here. And you have the backup camera installed. Plus you have the tinted glass doors here. So these tinted glass will actually go all the way up to the top. Right now this is just a screen but these do go all the way up and become like a three season door. So whether it's super hot outside and you want this area to stay cool, but you want to still have the view out there, or if it's colder outside and you want to prevent wind 
and rain and stuff like that from coming in here, you can put those glass doors all the way up to the top and still have that patio open without letting weather come in through that door. So really love that. I know I tested that out last summer on about a 99 degree day here in Texas, put those glass doors all the way up with the ACs on. And in about two hours, this garage with the patio open was just as cool as the rest of the RV. So I thought that was pretty impressive. But with that TV swiveling down, you'll be able to see it from out here on the patio. And then you have your happy jack system. So these here, these are how you position these when you want more height clearance for toys coming in. And then they also rotate up. Um, you have to pull this pin out of here actually, which I'm not gonna do right now, but pull these pins out of there. These rotate up and this one can rotate up. So you do that if you need more width clearance to bring a toy in. And you can also um, do that to make this into a bed. So these two come together to make one bed all the way across. It's about a queen size bed, actually a little bit longer than a queen size bed. So bigger than a queen. And then it'll go up and down so you can adjust the height of those. And then this will come down with it if you pull the pins out right here, pull those pins and this will come down with it. And that bunk will stop somewhere right around here. So you can have two beds, one on top of the other. So very nice system. If you're looking for more sleeping space, can easily sleep four kids in here with the size of these beds that you have. You have your door to go outside here from the garage as well. And then you have some storage up here. This storage is pretty tall. I even got to get on my tippy toes to open that. So you might need a step stool back here to get into those, but you have some storage up there to store some things and some storage up here. And you can see you have a 3000 pound max cargo capacity for this area in the back. Open this and you have your half bath. This also has a porcelain toilet back there is going to have a black faucet, your mirror, and a nice big window there for lots of natural light. Plus you'll have um, a AC vent and your light up there. Looks like they give you the window is a way to open this up to let air out since they don't have the uh, vent on the ceiling. Now, one thing I almost missed is you do have washer dryer prep back here in the garage. Now keep in mind, this is for a washer and dryer area designed for a ventless dryer. So that means this is going to be for a combo washer dryer unit that does not have a vent for the dryer. So if you wanted a vented dryer, you would have to either run it out the door here or you'd have to cut a hole in the wall somewhere so that you could have a vent. And it is not prepped for that. So that's something you would have to do on your own. But this does have the prep for a combo washer dryer unit that does not have a vent for the dryer that you can put back here in the garage as well. I also almost forgot to show this space here too that flips. Oh my gosh, just because it's so dang hot. Okay, I currently do not have a way to open this up, but this is storage that goes all the way across the back here. So a really nice deep storage space for tools and different things like that in the garage as well. And that is pretty much everything in the garage area. So let's go back into the living space and wrap this thing up. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I definitely came out here and sweat my butt off to make this video. So I really hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did because I was so excited to come out here and make this video. And if you are interested in this RV, again, you can go down to the link down below in the description where it says RV inquiry form and you can fill out some basic information for me there so I can know who you are and how to get in touch with you to get you the information that you need, whether you wanna come take a look at this toy hauler in person or you are interested in purchasing information for this toy hauler. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.